hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl ginger of course welcome back today's video is going to be on my daytime skincare routine not too long ago i posted a video about my nighttime routine and you know what i gotta share with you girls the daytime routine as well we have a lot of the similar products that we use in the nighttime routine honestly most of the products are about the same but there's a few things that we tweak here and there to cater this routine for daytime for the sun so without further ado let's get into this video and i hope that you like this setting okay i'm trying to give you girls aesthetics you know what i mean all right well let's get into it first thing that i do is cleanse my skin and i've been very good with cleansing and double cleansing actually ever since i found out about double cleansing that's all i do and my skin loves it so we're gonna start with pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm i've had this in my routine honestly for over a year and we still love her so first thing first you should wash your hands my hands are semi-clean okay rings are coming off because this part can get a little messy especially when you're wearing makeup that's all you need just a little dot on your hands rub it in and it's going to melt into like an oily texture and you just rub it on your skin oh this part is feels really good this is when you think about your day you think about all the things that you're going to do you think about your life you know this is it okay just take your time you really want to make sure that you do this for a little bit because i've heard <laughs> the more you do it or the longer you do it it's going to draw oils out of your pores and sometimes you can actually feel the little oil plugs come out it's going to feel a little grainy but in any case you just go ahead and rub this all over your skin girl okay and take your time and when you do this you can really feel the problematic areas for example i have a pimple coming in right here and i can feel her under the skin it's okay though we'll let jesus take the will on that one you can use an oil for this one you don't have to use a balm i know dermalogica has an oil cleansing double cleansing solution uh, I think it's PHC, if that if I'm not mistaken, also has a really good one that a lot of people talk about. So use what you have and use what works for you. As long as you are thoroughly cleansing your skin, you should be good to go. Especially when it comes to this area right here, I like to take my time uh, and just kind of press in just a little bit. It feels so good. It really feels like... I am just melting away my stress okay it's not just melting away makeup or anything like that it's my stress once you are satisfied with the amount of rubbing that you've done on your skin once you think about your entire day and what you're going to do then you can go ahead and rinse it before you rinse though just add a little bit of water to your hands it's gonna turn into a milky consistency rub it in your skin a little bit further and that is going to clean your skin even more before you even go with a cleanser so I'm gonna rent this off and I'll be back. All right, so once your skin is clean, we are moving on to step two, which is using an actual cleanser. The one that I'm using is by Drunk Elephant and it is a gel cleanser. Gel cleansers work really well for my skin. I have oily combination skin, so I find that they work very well. And you always want to activate your cleanser in your hands before going in. And then again, take your time. Make sure that you cleanse your skin for at least 60 seconds, at the very least. I like to go a little longer, you know, especially if I have the time. I try not to rush through my skincare routine because, first of all, it's your time. It's your skin, okay? If you can give yourself a minute to wash your skin, then what is life, huh? What is life? Also, you want to make sure that you're going in circular motion like this so that you can go around all the little hairs that is on your face and deeply clean your pores. The root cause of a lot of acne and inflammation is dirt. So make sure that you're not the reason why your skin is acting up. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know I had 
horrible horrible acne horrible skin and a lot of it I like to think was hormonal but also a lot of it was just lack of education I didn't know how to take care of my skin I didn't know how to cleanse my skin I don't know which product to use products that are catered especially for your skin type so I was just doing whatever and of course my skin was inflamed and my skin was screaming give me a chance <laughs> in any case we're going to keep rubbing and then I'm going to rinse this out and I'll be right back all right there we are skin is clean and she's looking good typically I go in with a chemical exfoliator at this point however I forgot it at home it's Paula's Choice liquid BHA exfoliator honestly it's a number one seller everyone loves it and if you want to incorporate a chemical exfoliator into your routine i would highly 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 recommend it i also have the Coors rx bha aha exfoliator as well basically chemical exfoliators is the way to go girl stop using all these different things to exfoliate the scrubs etc go with a chemical exfoliator it's going to go deeper into your pores to clean them out all that to say i don't have it with me so we're gonna move on to toning okay I'll live so for the essence the essence slash toner I use is this s3 extra mouth lotion it's honestly just a nice drink of water for your skin it's a Japanese product and I love it my skin could feel tight and as soon as I put it on it drinks it right away and I get this nice little glow you see that I know you saw it <laughs> I actually got it when I went to New York so I don't know I'm assuming you can get it online and if I find it I will put it down below it's just a nice hydrating toner I'm sure there's a million hydrating toner out there so you don't have to use specifically this one I'm actually going to layer it with the advanced snail mucin I know it really sounds like gross a little bit but it feels really good on the skin it's like very slippery I don't know if you can see that see that uh, but on the skin it feels great <laughs> that's why I use it although I have oily skin it's oily combination so the bottom part of my skin is actually very dry and using moisturizing products like that does me very well so that's why I like to layer toners I like to work with a lot of nourishing hydrating products because they are gentler on my skin and you know it actually helps control the oiliness you think it's the opposite but it really works so if you have oily skin stop trying to strip your skin if anything nourish it and see how that works for you now we're gonna nourish even further by using this hyaluronic acid serum and I got this from an esthetician and I really like it it's just a nice little serum that glides on your skin oh love it obviously all the products that I use I love right <laughs> you don't have to use this one the ordinary actually has a big old bottle of hyaluronic acid that is like $12 that you can use I've used it and you know it does what it's supposed to do all right for my daytime serum I like to keep things simple so I basically got my routine down to only using one serum per session so I mean hyaluronic acid I really don't count that as a serum but like an active that's what I should say one active per session and the active that I use during the day is vitamin C this one is by drunk elephant and I really really enjoy it because of the texture first of all it's 15% ascorbic acid it's almost like an oil and I think that's why I like it because it just mesh very well with the oil that's already on my skin so vitamin C is also very good when it comes to using it during the day especially under your sunscreen it really helps boost the efficacy of your sunscreen and also it helps protect your skin further from what is it free radicals so vitamin C is a really good serum to have in your routine it allows you to have a nice little grow it helps with hyperpigmentation a little bit so highly would recommend vitamin C all right moving on to my moisturizer the one that I'm finishing is by youth to the people okay that's what it looks like it's their superfood air whipped moisture cream I, I like it however she is very expensive I don't know if she's worth $70 yes sis I paid $70 for this product Ugh, I am 
The amount of money I've been spending on products is a little alarming. Anyways, I don't know if she's worth $70, but she is very, very nice on the skin. She is lightweight, but yet very moisturizing. If you have $70 that you want to splurge on yourself, you know, it's your birthday, go ahead. If not, I'm sure there's some better alternatives out there for cheaper. One last thing, and that is a very important part of the routine, sunscreen. Now, we all know that, especially if you have melanated skin, we shy away from sunscreen because of the white gray cast that it leaves on us, okay? Well, sis, I'm here to let you know that sunscreens are not how they used to be. This one is by Supergoop, it's called Unseen. And wow, when I tell you this goes on clear, I mean that as soon as I can open it, there it is. Look how clear, first of all, it comes out. You know, you gotta use enough sunscreen for your face and your neck. I'm gonna rub that in my hands a little bit. And look, I hope you're paying attention. Are you paying attention? You see this? Do you, do you see what, what's happening right now? Yes, sunscreen that goes on extremely clean. Now, with this one, one thing that I noticed is that it mattifies me just a little bit. So it does control my oils a little bit. And it goes, it's like a good primer for your makeup if that's what you're going to do. No cast at all. Okay, girl, we look good. And this sunscreen, honestly, ever since I started using it, that's all I use. I also got the Glow Screen by Supergoop and I wouldn't recommend it if you are my skin tone or darker. It gives you a nice glow, but it does leave just a bit of a cast that I don't particularly appreciate if you not wear makeup. If you wear makeup, then it's amazing because you have a nice glow from within. But if you're not gonna wear makeup, no one wants to look like they're a little ashy. You know, no one wants that. Anyways, so unseen, no one saw her no one has seen unseen <laughs> all right and that is basically it ladies and gentlemen this is my daytime skincare routine okay and my skin honestly has changed so much and i i'm here for it i appreciate it i am working on a few acne marks that i'm trying to fade but i don't actually have any big pimples except for that one that's coming in and it's okay you know what skin is skin it's not meant to be perfect it's not meant meant to be flawless it's just skin and someone left a comment in my last video and said that skin care is just that skin care so there it is we're done we like it we enjoy it thank you for hanging out with me and doing our skincare together i hope that you did your skincare if not you know watch this video again don't skip the ads and do your skincare <laughs> thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye